Just got here to Veracruz, Mexico. I can't check into my Airbnb right now, unfortunately. So right now I'm just gonna walk this Melicone and then, uh, I don't know what they're doing right there. And then I'm gonna, uh, well, I'm walking the Melicone, heading to a restaurant. But as you can tell, it's very windy. A little overcast. It's actually not as hot and humid as I thought it would be. Maybe I'm in the, the cool season. I've heard it's like crazy hot, crazy humid, but not today. Pala, palapa. It should be the spot right here. Hopefully it's not too busy. Let me see if, uh, yeah, Entrada's right here. Let's get up in here. All right, guys, here go the vibes. Let me sit right next to the window. All right, here goes. Here goes the menu. Basically, just a ton of seafood. Get it, say it all out. Get it, say it all out. All right, man. Friendly waiters, and then got the food right here, shrimp, rice, and got a side of guacamole, the complimentary nachos, and then the lemon. So I'm gonna go ahead and kill this right here. Got out the restaurant, the sun's starting to come out now. I must say, man, I don't know how people do it. Like I have my shades on right now, let me show you. Cause the wind is blowing, it's picking up some of the sand. So it's all up in my face. Oh man, it's like a sandstorm right here. Oh man. Woo! Oh, that hurts. Oh yeah, that hurts. I might have to cross the street. Yeah, I have to cross the street, man. I also must say, man, pretty empty here it's a Friday and the roads are empty restaurants are pretty empty hola que tal eh, solo tengo una preguntica para usted o sea como es Veracruz y que hay para hacer en esta ciudad Y dijiste una cosa para comer. ¿Cuál, cuál es tu plato? ¿Cuál es tu plato favorito? Bueno, aquí se come mucho marisco. Ah, Entonces, sí. Lo mejor que pueden venir a comer son mariscos, este, camarones, pulpos, este, pescados, todo. Bueno, perfecto, gracias. Here it goes right here. The Naval Museum. I want to check it out. Gotta find the entrance. Buenas, disculpe. ¿Dónde está la entrada al museo? Abre mañana? Abre mañana? Oh, okay. Ah, uh, ooh, tú como dos años. Ah, okay. Gracias. Okay, so the museum has been closed for about two years. If I had to guess, I would say one due to the hill situation going on in the world, and I don't, I don't know. That's unfortunate. Let's let's head downtown, historic center. Straight shot, hopefully. I've been walking for a while. Haven't seen anything that resembles what I'm used to as a Zocalo, but I think we're getting close. There's more people in this area. Plus, usually there's like a church or basilica that stands out. This one stands out, so I'm guessing I'm close. I think this is it, Zocalo. We got construction going on, which is, oh, let me cross with these guys. All right, let's uh, let's do this. Yeah, I bet at night, I don't know what this is called, but I bet at night they're gonna play this. Probably gonna be more bands, music, more people. It's still early. 
you know what the downside is though i have to walk back to my uh, my room there's no uber or at least i tried to use it so there's no uber in this area although online they say yeah it's uber in better cruise but i guess maybe not right now Cigarros from Veracruz. Hey, oh, you speak English a little? Ah, <laughs> fa, fa, familia? Familia? Oh, so, oh, okay. Tabaco is natural. It's aromatic. In tabaco, it's aromatic. It's natural. And it's aromatic. It's natural. 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 It's ¿Qué crees es el mejor o la marca más popular, la, el tipo más popular? La más popular sería la marca Habana, que es el Coiba. Ah. Pero yo tengo lo que es la marca Veracruz, la marca de aquí mismo, de Veracruz, San sí. Andrés Tuxla. Ah, ok. Yeah, you got to get the history lesson in, man. You know? I, when I travel, I love learning about where I'm at. And I, I want to share that with you guys. So we'll go straight ahead, check this out real quick. Oh, they got a spot to the left over here. I'm gonna check that out as well. Ah, oh, yeah, this is the ice cream. I gotta figure out where, oh, here we go right there. They're saying huero too. All right. So if you look up things to eat in Veracruz, usually this pops up. It's some sort of, I guess the ice cream, the way they prepare it here. It's supposed to be very delicious. Outside, they got people eating. Uh, I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a chico. Perfecto, gracias. All right, guys, here I go. There we go. We got a bench right here. All the, the vibes. Forgot to mention why that spot's so popular. I think it's the, um, the re, the. Um, the way it's prepared, it's still made in its, in its traditional, artisanal way, if I'm not mistaken. I just looked it up real quick after I got done eating it. That's what it said. Also, they don't use any uh, preservatives and stuff like that, supposedly, so don't quote me on that. As you know, the, the sun's starting to go down and that's when the music turns up. <laughs> The vibes. Let me, uh, I'm gonna head out. Let me go back over here. Alright, time to head back, man. 